The most important collaboration you'll ever get is the collaboration between you and your mind. When you can collaborate with your mind and tell it what you want, you get what you want. You need to know four things about your mind, and if you put these four things into practice, you will have success across the board at every level. Your mind does exactly, specifically what it thinks you want it to do. It always does what it thinks is in your very best interest. If you haven't got what you want, but you got behaviors you don't want, you are not collaborating properly with your mind. Secondly, your mind is hardwired to move you towards pleasure and away from pain. Everything survives on the planet by avoiding pain. Thirdly, the way you feel about everything all the time is only down to two things, that is, the pictures you make in your head and the words you say to yourself. And fourthly, your mind loves what is familiar. It is programmed to keep going over and over again for what is familiar. If you want to succeed at any level, you have got to make what is familiar unfamiliar and what is unfamiliar familiar. So let's start with one, your mind. Your mind does what it really thinks you want it to do. It's always acting in your own interests. Your mind listens all the time to your language. It works out what you're doing and feeling by the words you are using. If you say, these exams are killing me, I'm dying to finish this paperwork. My boss is a nightmare, I'm overwhelmed. I can't cope with stress. When you say, I'm dying under the pressure, this workload is killing me, you are telling your mind you don't want to do it. And if your mind thinks you don't want to do it, it will encourage you to procrastinate, back off, and not apply yourself. Your mind is very specific to the words you use. If you say, I'd love a week off in bed, I'm overwhelmed with stress. I just wish I could have a week off at home lounging around. Your mind goes, there you go, I've given you the flu. Didn't you ask for that? You said you wanted a week off in bed and I've given you the flu. There's your week off. If you say, I'm dreading having to give that presentation, I'd do anything to get out of it, your mind says, okay, why don't I wake you up with a migraine or an upset stomach? There's your get out of the presentation. That sounds a little silly, but that is how your mind works. It does what it thinks you want. If you haven't got what you want, it's because you use words like too hard. It's too difficult. It takes all my time. To avoid this, use words like I want to, I've chosen to. These words, I have chosen to do this, and I want to do this, will change your life. This is way more than positive thinking. It is collaborating with your mind. So look at what you have. If you haven't got what you want, you're not communicating properly with your mind. Imagine if you were to run a marathon and you started by going 24 miles to go. Oh, I hate this. It's so boring. It's so difficult. You're not going to finish it. You have to go, I love it. I love it. Even when it isn't true. That is how you collaborate with your mind. You must tell it using very specific, very detailed, very precise words what you want. And when you're doing it, you say, I want this. I've chosen this. I like this. And you must link pleasure because here is step two. Your mind will always move you towards pleasure and away from pain. If you eat something that makes you sick and you link pain to it, you can never eat that again for the rest of your life. You are hardwired to avoid pain. But if you link pain to studying, speaking in public, that's very difficult. And you can choose every day what is pain and pleasure. You're the only person that can do that. For example, if ever you've had to read in class and you've got the word wrong and everyone's laughed at you and you think, right, that's it. I'm never going to speak in public again. I'm never going to be the focus of attention again. Of course you forget. Ten years later, you are about to give a speech, give a presentation or chair a meeting, and you will have a panic attack because your mind remembers speaking in public as pain. And you have got to change that. So you have got to tell your mind exactly what you want, and you've got to link pleasure, not pain, to doing the things that are hard. The third thing about the brain is that it responds only to two things. That is, the pictures you make in your head and the words you say to yourself. That's all it is. For example, if you're on a flight going to a vacation and your pictures are pretty beaches, great people, fantastic weather, places to go, you're having one experience. If you're saying, this plane sounds really funny and that guy looks very suspicious, I think he's a terrorist. I think he's going to blow up the plane. You're having a totally different experience because of two things, the pictures you make in your head and the words you say to yourself. You have to change your thinking and change your words because the pictures you make in your head and the words you say to yourself change everything. That's all you have to do. 
The fourth thing about your mind is that it loves what is familiar, and it will go for what is familiar every time. So if what is familiar is procrastinating, messing about, not applying yourself, feeling uncomfortable in public, and not believing in yourself, you have got to make that completely unfamiliar. And what you have to make that is unfamiliar. Familiar is work hard, believe in yourself, put in the hours, and decide to love it. We don't like to say to ourselves words like, I am the best, I am the greatest, I'm really good at what I do, I'm an expert at this. And of course that's because we think we're faking it, but that is just making the unfamiliar familiar. Muhammad Ali said, it's people's fear that stops them from taking on challenges. I told myself I was the greatest before I even was. I believed in myself, and guess what? I became the greatest. So, what a concept. He told himself he was the best, and he became the best, but he didn't just go, I am the greatest. He trained, he worked out. He was disciplined, he believed he was the best. All top performers have to tell themselves they are the best, first to make their beliefs, and then their beliefs make them. And if you believe in yourself, other people believe in you too. When you stretch your mind to a new dimension, it never ever goes back, because your potential expands as you move towards it. You can't even know what your potential is. So if you want to have the most fantastic collaboration with yourself, you've got to remember these four things. Tell your mind what you want, link massive pleasure to going there, and pain to not going there. So you can motivate your mind and use very detailed words, Change the pictures, change the words, and make the familiar unfamiliar and the unfamiliar familiar. That's all for today. Make sure to subscribe for more content like this. Blessed day.